Hello, this is Stephen from Southland Transportation. I wanted to cover over some things with you today about the spotted lanternfly. The spotted lanternfly is an insect native to Asia and has made its way over to Pennsylvania in the southeastern counties. Starting May the 1st, law enforcement officials will start hard enforcement of a new permit for truckers who make stops in the quarantine zone for an invasive species of insect starting this week. Starting on May the 1st, some businesses that operate in one of the 14 Pennsylvania counties that are considered to be spotted landerfly quarantine zones must obtain and carry a permit showing that the company is in compliance with the insect inspection and control training. Companies that are based in the quarantine zone, load in the quarantine zone, or make stops in that quarantine zone all must comply with the permit. Trucking companies that travel through but do not make any stops in the quarantine area are not required to obtain the permit. Hard enforcement will include random roadside stops conducted by state police and the, the Department of Agriculture. To ensure that all drivers are carrying the proper permit, law enforcement officers in the neighboring states may also check your bills of lading and other documents and records to determine if truck drivers have stopped in the quarantine zone. Those companies that fail to obtain their, their spotted lanternfly permit could be refused entry into those counties and face fines up to $20,000. The 14 counties under the quarantine include Berks, Bucks, Carbon, Chester, Dauphin, Delaware, Lancaster, Lebanon, Lehigh, Monroe, Montgomery, Northampton, Philadelphia, and Schuylkill counties. The page you're looking at here is the spotted lanternfly checklist for vehicle inspection. Please fill this check sheet out every time you go into the quarantine zone. You fill out the date, your driver name, the vehicle, your driving vehicle number, and check to indicate the county that you are entering in. Please check and indicate where you checked out in the vehicle, whether interior, exterior, in the truck beds, wheel wells, the trailer, toolboxes, dollies, pallets, storage bins, and storage crates. On the reverse side of this page, you will see the insect life cycles, okay? The first two pictures you're going to see are the full adult, and then down below you're going to see pictures of the little babies, which are called nymphs, okay? Then uh, you're going to also see the egg sacs that are formed on the tree. Please sign and date this check sheet every time you enter into the quarantine zone. And turn this in with your trip pack because we have to keep a record of your entry into these quarantine counties. Thank you for your help and your compliance with this. Now please enjoy this short instructional video and afterwards please be sure to pick up your inspection sheet from your dispatcher and fill it out if you enter one of these 14 counties in Pennsylvania and be sure to turn this check sheet in with your trip pack. We are required to keep them for a two-year period. Thank you for your help. Lycorma delicatula commonly known as the spotted lanternfly, is a new invasive insect which was first found in southeastern Pennsylvania in 2014. It is native to Asia, including parts of China and Vietnam. The spotted lanternfly was introduced into South Korea about 10 or more years ago, where it became a pest of several crops. Now it threatens those crops in Pennsylvania, Crops of specific concern include hardwoods or timber. Pennsylvania is the number one exporter of hardwoods in the USA. There is also concern about grapes and peaches. Pennsylvania ranks fifth in production in USA for both of these fruit crops. Another concern is for our state parks and tourism. Pennsylvania ranks third in the USA for acres of state park land. We want visitors to continue to enjoy the beauty of our state parks without concerns about encountering high populations of spotted lanternfly or accidentally spreading this regulated insect.
This map from the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture shows where spotted lanternflies were known to exist as of August 2016. The red dots indicate where PDA has confirmed the presence of spotted lanternfly. The green dots indicate locations that have been checked by PDA, but the insect was not found. It is important for people to know what the spotted lanternfly looks like in all of its life stages. Knowledgeable residents are very helpful by alerting officials when they find spotted lanternfly in new areas. Also, residents who know what the different life stages look like are empowered to avoid accidentally spreading this insect into new areas. Spotted lanternflies hatch from overwintering eggs in May. They will go through four immature stages, which are called nymphas or instars. The first, second, and third instars are black with white spots. These instars feed on at least 25 trees and plants that grow in Pennsylvania. The fourth instar is the last immature stage. They begin to appear in July. This instar is red and black with white spots. Fourth instars molt and become adults starting in July. The adults have wings but are not strong at flying. They do jump very far and use their wings to get to other locations nearby. The underwings of the adults are red, with black and white markings. You won't see the red part when they are at rest, only when they are flying or startled. Adult spotted lanternflies use their piercing, sucking mouthparts to feed on the sap of the trees. They can gather in large numbers. A preferred host is Ailanthus altissima, commonly known as Tree of Heaven. This is an invasive tree which is native in parts of Asia. Alantha saltissima trees have a compound leaf with up to 25 leaflets. They are often confused with staghorn, sumac, or walnut. When you crush the leaves or stems of Alantha saltissima, they have a strong, unpleasant odor. This is one of the characteristics used to identify them. This picture shows young trees, but older trees can reach a height of 60 feet. Spotted lanternflies excrete quantities of partially digested tree sap called honeydew, which is sticky and contains sugars. Black fungus called sooty mold grows on the honeydew that accumulates under heavily infested trees. There are high populations of spotted lanternflies in some areas. This is a large number of adults feeding on the base of a mature alanthus tree. A lot of honeydew and sooty mold is present and visible under this tree. Yellow jackets and other stinging insects may be attracted to the honeydew. In this image, several yellow jackets are shown collecting honeydew. The female spotted lanternfly lays eggs in rows. She covers them with a waxy secretion from her body. Sometimes she covers all of them, and sometimes some eggs are left uncovered. This image shows a completely covered egg mass above and rows of uncovered eggs below. Each egg mass contains about 30 to 50 eggs. Scientists believe each female can lay at least two egg masses in one growing season in Pennsylvania. The covering is white when the female deposits it, but it turns to a grayish brown when it dries. This female has covered half of her egg mass and is working to completely cover it. The appearance of the egg mass changes over time. The image on the left was captured in November. Shortly after the eggs were laid, you can see some of the eggs that are not covered. The image on the right is the same egg mass in March of the following year. The protective covering has darkened and has developed cracks in the surface. Eggs hatch in May and the cycle begins again. These eggs have openings created when the nymphs emerge. The female will lay eggs on trees or any object. This image shows several egg masses on a fence post that was under the Alanthus tree. PDA has enacted a quarantine order that prohibits movement of any living life stage of this insect to areas outside of the quarantine area. Movement of mated females or viable egg masses is of great concern. Recognizing the life stages of this insect may help landowners to avoid spreading it. More information about identifying the spotted lanternfly, current information about its distribution, compliance with the quarantine order, and the eradication efforts can be found through the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture's and Penn State's Extension websites.